guys, it's Emily here, and today I'm coming at you with another video, and this is the final video in my Selena Gomez mini concert series, because I think I covered all the bases with all my videos. Today, I'm answering your most burning revival tour questions. My Instagram over the last two weeks has been blown up with questions, so I'm on Instagram right now, and I'm going through the comments, and I'm going to answer questions. Okay, so the first question was, how tall was she? Now, Selena is a very short person. She's cute, and she's short, so she's short. She had heels on when we met her, so I would say she's anywhere between 5 feet and 5 feet 2. Next question. Was Selena nice? Yes, she was extremely nice. As I said in my other videos, she was so genuine. She came out, she gave us hugs, we took pictures, she was so bubbly and everything, and she genuinely wanted to make sure that we had fun at the show. She talked to us. She wanted to learn about us and everything. Did you say any, next question, did you say anything about all the Selenators working together to help you. Of course, I wouldn't forget about the awesome family that Selena has and I have. I said, you're, <laughs> I said, your fans, I said, your fans got me here and she, I have it on video. She says, oh yes, my fans are so loyal. Yes, so I have that on video. I did talk about you guys. I wouldn't forget you, I promise. Question. What song did you enjoy more live? And describe her hugs. Okay, that's really hard for me to choose. I loved Revival. I loved Sober. And I loved Who Says. Sober because I could just feel the emotion inside of her when she was going through it. Like I could just feel it, you know what I mean? I felt like I was in that room when she wrote it or something like that, you know what I mean? And Revival was just a fantastic way to start the show. I was up, I was dancing, we were all dancing. If you looked around, it was fabulous. And who says, even though it's a throwback, I loved it because I bawled like a baby. Because that song is like an anthem to so many of us. And she even said during the show, she said, I wrote that song when I was 16, but I feel like I need it more now at 23 than I did back then. So, revival, revival, sober, and who says I enjoyed the most. And describe her hugs. Magical. Her hugs literally make you forget about everything for that 30 seconds you're hugging her. She gives really good hugs. She makes you feel like you're her best friend. Okay, next question. Did they did they were professional photo photographers for the after show meet and greet picture like the typical ones or had or you had to take your own picture on your own okay so that's two that's a two-part question there was a professional photographer it's been two weeks since my show and I cannot get my hands on that photo. I have no idea where it is. I tried tweeting them, I tried DMing them on Instagram, the fan club, I tried everything. But I did, and then the second part to that, I did take selfies with Selena. I did, I did. We took pictures, Courtney took a big group picture of us on her, on my phone, and everything. But yes, there was professional photographers, and don't worry, if you pay for a meet and greet, you will get a professional photo emailed to you. 
but I still need to track mine down. Okay, what was your favorite thing Selena said to you? She called me babe, and she just, everything I said to her, she genuinely listened to, and that was my favorite thing, because it was 10.30 at night when I met her and she could have been like, oh, hi girls, take a picture and leave. But no, she legitimately spent 10 minutes with us. I loved everything she said to us. I love that she came down to my level and bent down to me and said hi and hugged and everything. So yeah, just the entire experience was my favorite. Okay, how would you describe Selena in three words? Genuine, kind, and loyal. She's genuine because she wanted to make sure we had time at the show. She's kind because she let us take as many pictures as we want. We took Snapchat pictures, we took regular photo pictures, we took everything. And she's loyal because, trust me you guys, she knows that the fans are there. She knows. I told her and she's like, yeah, they're loyal and they're the best. She knows. So keep doing what you're doing. She loves you guys and yeah. Oh, and she's extremely talented because I was cr crying on the floor the entire show. It was amazing. One of the best concerts I've ever went to. Okay, next show, or next question. Did you feel safe when hugging Selena? Yes, yes. I felt like I was hugging my best friend or my sister. It was awesome. Uh, I'm so happy for you, God bless you. Thank you guys for your sweet comments. It really makes my heart happy. What is your favorite thing about Selena? My favorite thing about Selena is that she has an amazing passion for what she does and she's an amazing performer. Uh, how was it meeting Selena? It was absolutely the best night of my life. It was amazing. I'm so grateful that I got the experience. How did you get the green passes? which is the meet and greet pass. Okay, basically everyone was Instagramming for me, tweeting for me, Gabby from Disneyland Gomez, Mariah from Athlena, everyone. And you all, Selena Naders, banded together to help me meet Selena. Courtney Barry took the last leg and made it happen. She came and found me in my section because I was we were tweeting the seat number and everything during DNCE's performance and then she gave me the meet and greet passes. So Courtney Berry, Athlena, Disneyland Gomez, and all of you Selena Naders helped me got, get the passes. Do you know if they give me a great ticket before the concert or in the middle of the concert? I would say in the middle because I met Sel I met Selena after the show and I got my tickets in the middle. To be in the photo, to be in the I Instagram photo of Cell, should I go out of the concert before the finish or run out at the end? You should go out of the venue and like wait behind the barricades when the second to the last song is playing. And the only reason why I say that is because you want to make sure that you get that front row spot, you want to make sure you have your phone ready so you can snap a selfie and then you can get out of there before you get trampled. Battle plans, girls, battle plans. How much time is Selena's concert? I would say it's about three hours because each opening act has like 20 to 30 minutes to perform and then there is a 30 minute break between the time the opening acts perform and the time Selena comes on stage. And then I believe her set is like 
45 minutes to an hour. How did she talk to the fans? Did she have any surprises? I don't believe she had any surprises for us, but she was definitely so sweet to us. She was like, whatever you guys are going through, I want you to forget about it for one night and we're just gonna have fun. We're just gonna have fun at the concert. And the second time I posted to ask questions, I only got one question on this one, and it said, how did you get picked for the meet and greet passes? Courtney Berry picked me for the meet and greet passes based on she saw everybody's tweets and Instagrams about me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching and being so supportive. Don't forget to subscribe. I put weekly vlogs of my life up every single week. And I'll see you next time. Bye!